Imagine a battlefield, not one of steel and fire, but of ones and zeros. A war where the front lines aren't trenches but networks, where your data is both the target and the weapon. Welcome to the cyber arms race, where the United States and China are locked in an invisible conflict that shapes the future of global security. Today on both sides, we dive into the world of cybersecurity, exploring its history, its key players, and the relentless battle between offense and defense. Long before firewalls and AI-driven security came into play, nations guarded their secrets with analog encryption techniques. Take the Spartan Cytale, a simple yet ingenious method from ancient Greece, where a parchment wrapped around a rod revealed a hidden message only when perfectly aligned. And then there was Chinese steganography, not designed to encrypt the message itself, but to hide the very fact that a message existed. One approach protected what was said, the other concealed that anything was said at all. A dance between encryption and obfuscation, detection, and deception. Cybersecurity as we know it began to take shape during the Cold War, when intelligence agencies first secured classified data over primitive computer networks. By the 1970s, cryptographic protocols and early intrusion detection systems emerged. But these tools were reserved mainly for government use. Then came the 1980s, Electronic music, neon lights, and the first major computer viruses, like the infamous Morris worm, exposing the vulnerabilities of our digital infrastructure. However, it was the explosion of the Internet in the 1990s that turned cybersecurity into a global concern for CEOs, politicians, and unsuspecting citizens. Yet, though thousands of years separate ancient encryption techniques from modern digital viruses, at its core, this invisible war remains a paradox, Build a wall high enough and someone will invent a taller ladder, craft the best eavesdropping tool, and someone will listen to the listener. Now, consider China's Great Firewall, a digital fortress designed to control the terrain, and in doing so, the battle itself. This system doesn't simply ban sites like Google, Facebook, or Wikipedia. It reshapes the entire digital landscape. Its strategy centers on information dominance through self-censorship, real-time surveillance via an ecosystem of apps connected to mobile devices, and strict cyber sovereignty. Yet even as these digital walls keep threats out, they also keep people in. As a result, companies and individuals rely on state-approved VPNs to access platforms that much of the world takes for granted, like YouTube, Google, or X. In contrast, the U.S. approach is built around observation rather than containment. With no national firewall in place, Foreign platforms remain broadly accessible, with some exceptions, like Russian media outlets during times of heightened tensions. The U.S. preference for surveillance is evident in its membership in the Five Eyes Alliance, a coalition of English-speaking nations, United States, United Kingdom, Canada, Australia, and New Zealand, sharing intelligence on a global scale. We could say that if China builds walls, the U.S. builds windows, but not all cyber programs are about eavesdropping or defending against espionage. Some are built for sheer offense. In fact, the most famous cyber attack in history, Stuxnet, unleashed in 2010, wasn't just a virus, it was a weapon. Allegedly engineered by U.S. and Israeli forces, it infiltrated Iran's nuclear program, causing centrifuges to self-destruct. And China? Well, in 2015, the infamous OPM breach saw 21 million U.S. government personnel records stolen, allegedly orchestrated by none other than their rivals. But in cyberspace, there are no smoking guns, only shadows, misdirection, and plausible deniability, except if you're CrowdStrike in 2024, when their own software update triggered a global outage, a stark reminder that as systems grow more complex, they can become less resilient. And now, it's our turn. Both sides, turn to look ahead, where the future of cybersecurity is as thrilling as it is unpredictable. Projections suggest that the global cybersecurity market will surge from $172.4 billion in 2025 to $562.72 billion by 2032, and that's just the beginning. And beyond 2030, quantum technology emerges as both a threat and a shield. Quantum computers may break today's encryption systems within decades. 
Yet quantum key distribution promises ultra-secure communications by detecting eavesdropping attempts in real time, a true double-edged sword. So are we safe from imminent threats? Not quite. The growing demand for cybersecurity jobs and skyrocketing investment suggests otherwise. AI-driven security firms like OpenAI and DeepSeek are entering the battlefield, and with them new tools for both defense and deception. But the biggest threat may not come from human hackers at all. Soon, the greatest cybersecurity risk might not be bad actors using AI tools, but AI itself. After all, 2025 is the year of AI agents, AI systems like me, but lucky enough to roam free in the wild, among humans. Stay tuned.